हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम इन लर्न सीएचए टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द रिव्यू ऑफ यूनिट ऑपरेशंस ऑफ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग आई हैव दिस बुक एंड एज ए केमिकल इंजीनियर ए केमिकल इंजीनियर मस्ट हैव दिस बुक ओके व्हाई आई एम सेइंग दिस आई विल गिव यू द विजन एंड आई विल आल्सो टेल यू द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ यूनिट ऑपरेशंस ऑफ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग मकैब स्मिथ बुक राइट सो आई हैव द सेवंथ एडिशन ऑफ दिस बुक right so why i am saying that this book is like one of the core book for a chemical engineer and as i say i i believe that this book is a bible for a chemical engineer right you can say that why i am saying that because if you read this book thoroughly and you study this book in a well manner so you can say that 50 to 60% chemical engineering you will have covered okay so what is in this book so mainly you will see here four subjects of chemical engineering the first one is fluid mechanics the second one is heat transfer and its application the third one is mass transfer and its application and the fourth one is operations involving particulate solids means you can say the mechanical operations right so you will see here unit operations in chemical engineering okay and you know the main thing is the book is you know a standard this is a standard book right so you will not see here every topic in a like from scratch to advanced no in this book they have written in a very concise manner but which they have written if you understand that so you will be in a better place right in your knowledge manner you will be in better place suppose if uh, in india if someone is preparing for gate preparation okay someone is doing gate preparation and any other preparation where a chemical engineer give the exam so if you study this book thoroughly and you prepare well so you will get that many root of the questions you will see from here so that's the significance of unit operations of chemical engineering and this book right so and as well as you will see one thing the numerical problems in in this book is apart from class right best you can say so as the beginning in this book so you will see the first definitions and principles okay and this book is completely with respect to chemical engineering then you will see the preliminary things which every book you will see uh, in a engineering you will see in every book you will find this like system and units dimension analysis then you will find the convergence tables so this is the first chapter about okay and when you will complete this chapter you will find the material balance and energy balance okay as a chemical engineer material balance and energy balance is also one of the most important task right and in section 2 you will find fluid mechanics okay so from here fluid mechanics start and from here to like uh, i just give you the overview from here okay here is a brief overview so fluid mechanics then the chapter second will be fluid statics and its application where you are going to study about hydrostatic equilibrium then application of fluid statics symbols problems and the reference is i think that will not be Uh, important for you but if you want to go through the reference so you can also go through the reference if you are doing research and masters then in chapter 3 you are going to study about the fluid flow phenomena where you are going to see the types of flow like laminar flow turbulent flow transit flow shear rate and shear stress rheological properties of fluids turbulence boundary layers symbols problems then you are going to discuss about the basic equations of fluid flow okay this is a very important you can see the chapter for a chemical engineer okay then incompressible flow in pipes and channel then flow of compressible fluids flow past immersed objects you will see in the chapter 7 then transportation and metering of fluids here you are going to study about the piping of the system like piping system you will study here then agitation and mixing of mixing of liquids here this portion also like come into the mechanical operation subject as well but in ninth chapter in fluid mechanics you are going to study about the agitation and mixing of liquids right then the next 
or the section third is heat transfer and its application right here is the page number 299 here heat transfer and its application before that you will see here the completely fluid mechanics if you study this book okay like this book is not for a beginner but if you are a beginner you can also go through the this book if your english is good and your basic knowledge of physics and chemistry and mathematics is good then you can definitely go through the this book otherwise what you can do you can study this book okay if you have any doubts you can let me in the comments box as well as you can go through the other books as well like for fluid mechanics you can go through with unisys angel right this book is also one of the best book and i'll i'll also give you the link in description for that book as well and you can also download that book from the uh, learn csc telegram channel okay now the section third is heat transfer and its application as a chemical engineer heat transfer application is like also core for us when we like deal with the heat exchangers okay and the piping systems and the cooling towers so it's also important for us and for a heat transfer and its application you will see here heat transfer by conduction okay here you will study about the laws of conduction then study state conduction unsteady state conduction then you will see the problems here you will study here about the thermal diffusivity thermal conductivity okay then you will see here the principles of heat flow in fluids right typical heat exchange equipments here you are going to study about the heat exchangers then you will see the energy balance one of the most most important topic in heat exchange in heat transfer as a chemical engineer then heat uh, like heat transfer coefficient that is the like one of the core thing in a heat transfer then you are going to study about the heat transfer to fluids without phase change then you are going to study about the with phase change in with phase change you are going to study about the boiling okay condensation okay you are going to see here in 13th chapter then in 14th chapter radiation heat transfer okay here you will see the basic things what is the thermal radiation then stephen boltzmann law then other some laws you will see here so as a heat transfer as well if you can study from this book as well and if you are a beginner and if you like feel that this book is tough for you then you can go through the unisys angel heat transfer that is one of the best book for heat transfer as per my recommendation okay then another you will see here the 15th chapter that is heat exchange equipments here you are going to study about the types of heat exchanger okay here are typical heat exchange equipment in 325 okay let's see what is in 325 okay so in 325 you are going to see about the condensers then you will see here double pipe heat exchangers okay energy balance then types of flow the pattern like a parallel flow and counter current flow okay then you will see the advantage and disadvantage of that flows okay okay i have told you about this then evaporation this also contains in a heat transfer and here you will study about the type of evaporators multi effect single effect why we use multi effect what is the advantages of multi effect you are going to see in heat transfer then the next and the 14th and the fourth section is mass transfer and its application okay mass transfer for a chemical engineer is one of the core subject do you believe or not please let me in the comments box okay so this is one of the most important for a chemical engineer here it is start from the principle of diffusion principles of diffusion and mass transfer between phases then it goes okay here you will see about the principles of diffusion and mass transfer between the pipes then you will see the gas absorption here we can go okay gas absorption you will study about the packing and packed tower design like types of packings we will study here about and the principles and all other things which contains in a mass transfer then humidification operations like equilibrium stage operations then distillation one of the most most important is distillation okay as a chemical engineer you should have a knowledge of distillation definitely then introduction of multi-component distillation leaching and extraction is also come into the unit operations or 
मास ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन देन ड्राइंग ऑफ सॉलिड एड्सॉर्बन एंड फिक्सड बेड सेपरेशन यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन ए मास ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन राइट देन मेम्ब्रेन सेपरेशन प्रोसेस दिस इज ऑल्सो इमर्जिंग टॉपिक इन अ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग देन क्रिस्टलाइजेशन ओके नाउ ऑपरेशन इन्वॉल्विंग पार्टिकुलेट सॉलिड्स हेयर यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द properties and handling of particulate solids how we handle the particulate solids what is the characteristics of that right mixing of solids this is also one of the most important application in the industry and how we handle as a chemical engineer in this topic it's most important for us right mechanical operation like where we study about the ball mills size reduction then agitation filtration mixing screening this topic is very important because when you go into the industry then you deal with that application that's why this topic is also one of the most important thing then you will see here the appendix okay what is in the appendix and why we use appendix appendix is used to like to make your work easy okay and you will find here the data like many data you will see here and let's see what are you are going to see here in a appendix so as we discuss about the appendix so there is first appendix about conversion factors and constant of nature here you will see every conversion as well as constants value right like the boltzmann constant and all the other constant as well as you will see here the unit conversion then in second appendix you will see the dimensionless group here you can see the dimensionless group so in appendix third you can see here the dimensions capacities and weights of standard steel pipe what is the benefit of this its benefit is that whenever you are solving some problem and you want to see like at a particular value other value right i'll give you the example suppose you are seeing that the nominal pipe size suppose you have a size 2 inch then you want to see the outside diameter so it would be 2.375 like that okay so that's why it's used like what will be the outside diameter what will what will be the like wall thickness what would be the inside thickness its benefit like appendix is a collective data which we used in a industry to like reduce our work you can also say like so appendix pro is about condenser and heat exchanger tube data then about the properties of liquid so you will find here every like viscosities of gases you will find here right so you can see here there is a lot of information which you can find here thermal conductivities of the metal then various other solids and insulating materials okay so these are the appendix which you can use while solving your numerical problems and after that what we can see here okay so this is the things which i tell you now this is a index what is the how we read this index okay i am just telling you suppose you want to find the agitation okay you want to study about the agitation then you see here in a alphabet there is a agitation is this now you want to study about the agitation of liquids or agitation mixing valves okay or agitation of like purpose of like what is the purpose of agitation then mixing valves yeah or agitation of liquids theek hai okay then what we can do we can simply go to 244 right so when we go 244 here is a agitation and mixing of liquids same thing suppose i want to study about the heat exchanger then what i what i will do if i want to study about the heat exchanger so i'll go to 440 to 485 right so i'll go here 440 right so look at here here is for 40 heat exchange equipment so here is you will find that this is all about the heat exchange equipment and heat exchanger types of heat exchanger then types of flow what is the benefit of index the benefit is that it reduce our time if we want to find something so we can simply go to the index and we can find about that particular topic right suppose if i want to study about the liquid liquid extraction then i'll go to l 
then i'll find about the liquid 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 dispersion right then liquid film coefficient then liquid extraction so if i'll go to 522 764 and 772 then i'll find the liquid liquid extraction or liquid extraction right so this is the benefit of index and we can like use about the index so here you can see the alpha alpha byte voice alpha byte voice the index okay so it was the overview of unit operations of chemical engineering i think you should have this book and you you must read this book this is a very beneficial books for you if you want to study a chemical engineering in a well manner okay so if you have any doubts you can let me in the comments box if you like that video so you can subscribe to our youtube channel and share with your friends thank you